Welcome back to the Irish Open 2023. I'm joined by Dara O'Kearney, who has brought along his brand new book, GTO Poker Simplified. So the book is simplified, but can you simplify it even further and try and put it in a little nutshell sure, what it's yeah. about? The, the, the impetus for the book was there was a lot of people who, you know, they hear about GTO and they ask about it. And I used to always recommend a few of the books that were out there. There's already some very good books on GTO. Andrew Brokos's two books, Play Optimal Poker, uh, Michael Acevedo's Modern Poker Theory. But a lot of people would come back and say, couldn't quite get it, a little bit over my head. So we thought, okay, well, there's probably an introductory book that needs to be written uh, to sort of explain the concepts and simplify them as much as possible. So that's what, what very much was the impetus for it. So can you explain GTO in a few sentences? Yeah, that, sure. What's in the book? Yeah, so game theory is a, is, is a branch of maths that applies to any games or anything where players have to make decisions against each other. Um, and it's how that applies then to poker. Um, and you can use a lot of the principles from game theory to actually play in a style which, even if you're playing against players who are much better than you, they actually can't uh, can't can't exploit you or can't or can't beat you in in the, in the long run, and that's kind of where that's the original impetus for for game theory. It's sort of a defensive, but obviously if you're playing this this style of poker, this strategy, then you're going to be doing very well against everybody. So is this book better for a beginner, like? coming in not knowing that much about poker at all or is it more suited to someone that's been playing a while uh, it pr pr probably both to some degree it depends on what they know about game theory already but but yeah certainly of the four books we've done this is the one that's most aimed at beginners and, and a lot of the people who've read it are beginners or intermediate players let's say but we've also had quite a lot of uh old school pros, some very big names, uh, but like they learned poker 20 years ago before Game Theory was known about in poker. And they've heard about it and they've maybe watched a few videos, but they don't really get it. Um, and they've come to us and said like, yeah, we read the book and now we sort of understand it. Um, so that's been very, very rewarding as well. I think I might need the book, Jara. <laughs> I'll be sure. honest. Um, now let's talk about poker and how it's evolved yeah. since you first started playing. How has it changed? It's changed so much. Yeah. Um, the w one thing that's happened is online poker. Back in the day, people used to say online poker players were terrible at live poker. Now online poker players dominate live poker as well. A lot of the concepts and the way that online players approach the game has has come into live poker. Even if people don't play online themselves, they're exposed to playing against online players, so they pick up sort of the, the same strategies, the same same way of playing. Uh, th th that's one thing that's definitely changed. Also, another thing which has changed is people study a lot more, people work a lot more. Back when I started, there was just a few books out there and it was pretty hard to learn poker. A lot of the books weren't even that good. Then, you know, now you have training videos, people will watch guys on Twitch explaining how they're playing, people will will, will read books uh, and people will even work with solvers. Like I coach quite a few recreational players and one of the things that surprises me is that once it's explained to them, they actually take to it like a fish to water. They, you know, they're running their own sims. They're checking everything in the solvers afterwards as well. So the game has become much more strategic rather than just everybody flying by the seat of their pants. Did you get coaching at any point yourself? I I, I read a few books at the start. Um, I watched a few training videos. But to be honest, I've never really been coached. It's I, I've always been the kind of guy who likes likes to figure out the maths from first principles for himself and then go from there. Um, you know, a bit, very mathematical mind basically. Um, but yeah, no, I've never really got coaching. And um, let's talk about the Irish Open. Obviously it's great being back here, yeah. brand new venue. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest, I prefer City West as a venue because it was kind of all in, you were just there for the poker, but unfortunately it's not available. So there's nothing they could do. This is, the, this is a great venue, it's, it's central. It's a very nice part of Dublin as well. Um, there was an EPT slash UK IPT here back around 2016, I think, mm. as well. Um, and yeah, no, they've, they, they've done a really good job. Uh, people have gotten used to City West, so there was a bit of misapprehension that maybe this venue wouldn't work, but I think it's worked very well. And do you find when you're writing the books, does it improve your poker when you're playing? 100% it does, yeah. Yeah, because actually my, my, my process is I explain it to my co-author, um, Barry Carter. And often I have to explain it over and over again before Barry gets it. But but it actually sounds, it, it's, it's immense, the concepts in my own mind as well. And I actually find myself in spots because I've done this recently with Barry, now I know exactly what to do. Um, so yeah, it, it is very useful. And I, I find the same with coaching as well. Often when I'm coaching students, while it's stuff that I know, 
it refreshes it in my mind um, and it, it makes it more likely I'll, I'll actually be able to access that at the table. Very interesting. Um, main event, it's over. Anything else you're going to play? Yeah, I'm about to jump into the JP Masters. Uh, I love that tournament. I found table just, I think, the first year I was playing. Um, and there's a 3K high roller on later as well. If the JP Masters doesn't work out, I'll go into that. There's a satellite for that first, so I guess I should play that too if uh, if I have time. But yeah, yeah. there's a very good schedule actually for the next three days. Um, it's been a little bit, obviously the main, they were all focused on the main event until now. So some of the side events had to be cancelled, but there's a, there's a very rich program for the next three days. And if anyone wants to buy your book, yeah. or get coaching is that a possibility yeah, or you're, you're full yeah. up <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. how do they do that yeah um all the coaching and st uh, pretty much everything i do if you just go to daraokarni.com you can get all the information there on that mm -hmm. stuff uh the book is available on amazon uh everywhere that sells books basically um uh yeah so okay thank you very much i'm getting myself a book and um good luck in all of the rest of the tournaments mm -hmm.